Okay, if you like fairy tales or dystopian books, you have to read the Cinder series. So the each book in the series is based off of like a modern twist on a fairy tale. So for Cinder, it's based off of Cinderella. But Cinder in this book is a cyborg, which is a really fun twist. I'm going to read you the back cover because it can summarize it way better than I can. Humans and androids crowd the raucous streets of New Beijing. A deadly plague ravages the population. From space, a ruthless lunar people watch, waiting to make their move. No one knows that Earth's fate hinges on one girl. 16-year-old Cinder, a gifted mechanic, is a cyborg. She's a second-class citizen with a mysterious past and is, and is rivaled by her stepmother. But when her life becomes intertwined with the handsome Prince Kai, she suddenly finds herself at the center of an intergalactic struggle and a forbidden attraction. Caught between duty and freedom, loyalty and betrayal, she must uncover secrets about her past in order to protect her world's future. Because there is something unusual about Cinder, something others would kill for. So, like I said, if you like fairy tales, it's absolutely excellent. If you just like, um, like a good read, books that are like, action-packed, suspense. Um, one of the things I love about dystopian books is that there are like individual conflicts, right? Like her against her stepmother or like her trying to, you know, work on a cure for the plague or whatever it may be. But then there's also the greater conflict of the world that they're living in. And so there are all these different like levels of conflict and layers, I should say layers. So you would like Cinder if you're into any of that, if you like dystopian worlds, if you like fantasy, if you like sci-fi, if you like anything. And I really loved that the books kind of build off of each other. So even though the next book is from a different fairy tale and a different character's perspective, they all kind of like link together and intertwine and build off of each other so that at the end it creates this like even bigger like conflict and story I don't know how to describe it, but if any of that sounds good to you, I highly recommend the Cinder series. It's in our classroom library and hope you pick it up soon.